currently it's a very exciting time to be a pediatric spine surgeon. The FDA recently had a partial approval for two non-fusion scoliosis devices. And then as part of that approval, our regulatory body, the FDA, has asked us to study these devices. So I'm involved in two multi-center prospective studies where we are looking at how patients who've had these new surgeries do over time and studying what factors are associated with the best outcome. So really for the first time, children in the U.S. are having access to a variety of innovative treatment options for their scoliosis. I would hope that as time goes by, there'll be more options, more predictable surgeries that preserve motion, preserve growth, don't require multiple surgical procedures, and preserve like the highest level of function. So that's what I really see the future of being in pediatric spine surgery. Really, until the last five years, all we were talking about was fusion surgery. That was the only option.